Leo, this is your November 1st through the 9th tarot reading. If Leo is your sun, moon, or rising, this tarot reading is for you. And if it happens to resonate with you, please let me know. Hit that like button. And here we go. <laughs> Perfection. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Let's see what else we have here, Leo. Hmm, long night moon, darkness. We might have to look that one up. And then we also have rebirth with a two. So confidence is key right now, but I want to look up that one card. So it's number 40. It says here, you're entering a time of introversion. Well, that's um, really opposite for you, Leo, isn't it? Because you're very extroverted. So let's see what's going on here, Leo. A leaner time, a leaner time or a time to turn inward to plan and strategize. It is time to do shadow work, which will bring big dividends later on. Release what no longer works for you. Hmm. So I think, and, and also we are coming in on you know, fall, winter, and there is more actual darkness, but I think this is about you and this rebirth here. That's, that's, um, that's still good energy, but you will need your confidence to get through this period, right? Seven of pentacles. So that's also, you know, planning and, and very introspective here, very introspective time for you. Six of cups and the magician what is going on oh ace of wands okay you also have three of pentacles Let's see if we can make sense of all this leo and the fool wow all right so we have let's look at look around the room here we've got some aquarius air energy we have the magician this is virgo earth energy we've got fire earth water earth so we do have some of uh some of everything here leo not seeing not seeing you that's okay that's okay because confidence is your key right now and it looks like you're manifesting this um, fool energy here. So that would definitely be kind of a rebirth because the fool is after you've completed the whole, you know, tarot and then you're coming back around. All right. So you have the seven of pentacles here and the ace of wands. Ace of wands is a fiery, passionate new beginning in some endeavor. And since we have the seven of pentacles here, this would be, um, you know, related to possibly your work, Leo. And so this is the introspection I think this is calling for. Um, you see there's, um, they're looking at the pentacles here with their pen and paper, and they're being very kind of analytical about it, really. They are looking to see what... They've been put is what they've been putting their time and effort and energy into their resources. Is it giving them the results they are looking for? You might be in a bit of darkness here regarding that. And you're trying to shed some light on the situation. See how the light's coming through the window there. So I think you're deeply looking at what you've been spending your resources on Leo. And it might be that you are you may not be satisfied with what you've been putting your time, effort, your resources into. And so you might be looking at something different, a passion project I just heard um, in my mind. This is the Ace of Wands. This is a passionate, fiery new beginning in something. You know, so maybe what you've been doing with your resources or what you've been doing for work is not satisfying you. You may be taking the time to realize that. 
we also have the Six of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. And so the Six of Cups is, you know, it could be um, relating to your inner child. You could be reminiscing the past a little bit or thinking about a past person. You know, there's all those energies there. You could be thinking about something that you wanted to do when you were a kid, your dreams, hopes, you know, from when you were a child, right? And then this shows the Three of Pentacles here, which is this teamwork um, on a project. So I really get the feeling that you are starting a new project with like-minded people. Could be someone from your past, not necessarily, but I really feel like it was something that you dreamed about doing when you were a child, you know? And it's going to take this period of, um, you know, maybe that, that introspection where you're just kind of all alone, right? You're just in your thoughts. And this would be a rebirth if it's something that is something, you know, if you're trading one career for another, it could be, you know, um, a passion project, something that you feel really strongly about, Leo, very passionate about. And I don't know, this feels good to me, Leo. It feels really good to me that you will be working on something with people that share your interest in this. You know, creatively working with people to bring about maybe some dream that you had when, when you were little. You know, and you'll need confidence to walk into that, especially if you're leaving something behind that maybe did provide sustenance and you know, stability for your family or for you into doing something that really speaks to who you are. So you have magician energy here using all your tools that you have available to you to have a new start, this new beginning, this, um, you know, the full energy is, is really great to me because you've cast aside anything that doesn't serve you. And, and you're just ready to step right, right off the edge. You don't really know what is beyond this energy. You're just ready to just dive right in. And I feel like you've got this manifestation, magical energy about you. And you may not know exactly where this new endeavor, this new passion project, whatever it is, you don't really know what's going to happen. But you're ready to go after your dreams, you know, and that could be that darkness, you know, that not knowing exactly what is beyond here. But you'll never know if you don't try. But it looks to me like you are with like-minded people here, Leo, that support you, that are on the same page as you, you know, just it's that confidence that you need to move forward. You know, I, I really think this is great energy. I love the fool and the magician together. I feel like this is something that was part of your fate. You know, this is universal energy here. This is to me is a rebirth you know, of your potential, of something that you're meant to do, Leo. Let's take a look at the bonus card, see if we get any additional messages. Prosperity, there you go. Prosperous business with riches and success. I see that here. So you have your three of pentacles here, seven of pentacles, and this could be you working diligently toward a passion project, you know, and then finding people that support you with this passion project, you know, and you're manifesting this amazing, wonderful energy here with the full card of just going for it. You're just going to go for it, Leo. And it's going to be prosperous from what I can see here. You're not going to know, but you got to be confident, confidently. Look at that wish again. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. I shuffled the cards, came out again. Because you know what? I knew it would. I knew it would. 35. Wish. That dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a fair or dark complexion or hair. 
confirmation for some of you. You have desk. Pay attention to your work. You've got it right there. And you are with that seven of pentacles, Leo. You're paying very, very close attention to your work. And that's a good thing. You know, you have bowl, plenty of material things. I mean, you have prosperity. You've got the bowl. You're paying attention to things. Your wishes are coming true here. You know, it's just the confidence. Just hold on to that great Leo confidence here. You're showing up here right at the very beginning of your reading. So step confidently into that darkness, that not knowing. You know, I think as long as you're following your passion, you will find people that support you in manifesting this, Leo. This is really beautiful. I love it. I don't have anything else to add here. This is wonderful. All right. So I hope this resonated with you. Please hit that like button. If, if any part of it did, let me know I'm on the right track here. <laughs> and uh, if you're interested in a personal read, look in the description box below. There is a link to my Etsy. And that's going to be it for now, Leo. We will see you next time. Mm -hmm.